It's a beautiful day on the southern Oregon coast. We're hiking to Blacklock Point. I have my family with me. And we're gonna get some great shots of cliff sides, waterfalls, um, rugged Oregon coast. And we're excited. Let's get going. Okay, I'm really excited because you take the trail to Blacklock Point and you're here in the woods. And it's all trees, and then eventually you hear the waves crashing in the ocean. And you go from seeing nothing, like hardly even any sky, to seeing this. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but there's sea foam flying around everywhere. Okay, so bad luck. The foam got my camera. I always carry a Nikon lens pen in my camera bag. Um, it has a lens cleaning side and then a lens brush. I don't think we need the brush but um, for this, but I think we will need this to hopefully, hopefully clean it up. Good as new. Way too windy out there right now, so we're gonna find a place to shelter, uh, wait for the wind to die down, and hopefully get some pictures. I loaded up my camera with the 20 millimeter prime, so let's go out and see if we can get some wide angle shots. Um, there are some great rock formations right here on the water, so I'm thinking we can get something with a great foreground and some ocean in the background. It's so windy and it's cold, and my lips are kind of frozen, so. Um, trying to warm myself up here in the cover from the wind. was shot at the top of this rock and now we're at the bottom of it and you can see how crazy this big fissure is. It's like massive. So now let's climb down closer to the water. I want to get underneath, if you can see over here, this big rock. Uh, so the sun's behind it. Hopefully get a cool silhouette, maybe uh, some, of the, some of the rocks, the tide pools. Um, I don't have a tripod, so we won't be doing a uh, long exposure or anything, but I think it could be a cool shot with some of like that coastal mist, uh, coastal, coastal spray, and some cool textures. That looks good over there. I still have the 20 millimeter on here. We're gonna shoot at f.8, try to get everything in focus. We have plenty of light. Okay, so there's, there's this beautiful spot in the forest where like the uh, the sun rays are coming down and you can see those streams of light through the uh, the leaves. Okay, look at this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get Hannah to stand in that and uh, hopefully get a shot. I'm gonna use the uh, 20 millimeter again, so this wide angle just to get like the whole forest and should be pretty good.
We're headed to the waterfall, but there's this cool little white snail, snail shell. Um, so I'm gonna pop off this wide angle and put on the macro lens and um, try to get it. I think it'll be a cool contrast just because it's so like, the ground is so dark, um, but the shell's so light. I'll try to get a good angle of it anyway. I am terrified of heights. Oh man. back and this is just perfect so we had to get a picture. Wow, the trees are there. I know. a great day out there getting some good hiking and photography in um, hope you all liked following along we need to get back to the car before the sun sets um, we're here back on the trail and it's getting dark so um, hope you all enjoyed it be sure to subscribe and like the video for more thanks bye bye <laughs> bye, -bye.